As everyone here knows, sport is a wonderful way to empower ourselves, to increase fitness, mobility, and friendship. It is at once the great leveler and the great uplifter. Karate began nearly a hundred years ago in a little theatre where a baby was found abandoned with a note saying, I'm too poor to look after this baby. You theatre folk, please look after my baby. And the theatre folk formed the Variety Club and that's how Variety went from being a charity just to help a little baby to a charity now that's raised billions all over the world. Rosie, if you don't know me, uh, get out. <laughs> My name is Katerina Vrana. Um, I'm fairly new at being disabled. I hope I'm doing it right. Um, thank you so much for having me in Leeds. I mean, I came all the way from Greece to be in Leeds on this beautiful rainy night. It's 30 degrees in Greece, guys. Since Variety began all those years ago, every year we help improve the lives of more than 130,000 children across the United Kingdom. We also try and recognize through our awards the achievements of those who have done so much for disability sports. I am absolutely delighted to see so many of us here tonight celebrating disability sports and all its extraordinary achievements. It's not just about the athletes, although they are a massive part of it. You know, it's about businesses representing, you know, and creating these sort of accessible environments and things like that for, for awards like this to be won and players to be able to, to compete and obviously achieve what they need to. Winning this award means, um, you know, means for us as a national centre, there's recognition for what we've committed to, to create such an accessible venue, the first of its kind in Scotland but across the world. Uh, tonight's amazing, I mean I think it's the inaugural one and so to be part of the first ever one, you know, not many people can say that. Yeah, it's pretty pretty surreal to be honest, um, to, to be recognised uh, you know, by disability through um, what I've achieved and, and my passion in, in motorsport and um, overcoming my, con my condition to, to um, race against able-bodied people um, and succeed in that um, and then to be recognised by it is a a real dream come true. These kind of events are places, I think, because yeah. you, you very rarely get to see a sport like put on this way sport in this manner. As soon as you come at the mall, you're like, wow, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. Yeah. I think everyone in the hall has achieved amazing things throughout the year, and they're all, they're all winners, really. It's great to have these awards because it recognises disability sport across, you know, across the board, not just what's representing the Paralympics. So. Yeah, this is just sort of wetting the appetite for what's to come for the rest of the year. Hosts have been great, yeah. certainly got insight and understanding. And you know what, the opportunity to mix with people with passion, um, that is really, that for me has really made the night. It's been lovely. It's been a great evening. We've, we've felt a lot of heart in the room. We saw over 100 nominations from various people up and down the country who felt inspired enough to put their people forward for these awards. I think that to me is almost the greatest achievement of tonight because it means that this award ceremony has become a thing for all of us to look forward to, to, to feel good that we were there and for those people that we were able to reach and bring forward hopefully something they'll remember for a long time to come.